Video number two, continuing on with our exploration of the 50 items in my bear pen. Uh, before we get into that, IWM, I just want to look at this important ETF for a moment. Um, it's an unchanged situation here. So once again, on the bullish side of things, there is this inverted head and shoulders, which I must say to the bear's credit is really damaged from this week. This, this is quite ugly. The right shoulder is much lower than the left. That really reduces the chance of this becoming a threat. But uh, the bottom line is that should God forbid the IWM cross above this gap, it's the bears might as well just commit Harry carry at that point. Uh, so that's the bullish prospect. The bearish prospect, which of course is my desire, would be a failure of this blue trend line. And that would, that would all holy hell would break loose at that point. But we're just farting around now. You know, just you know, we've been in this range ever since Thanksgiving, for the love of God. So um, there you have it. Okay, moving on with the next chunk of ten. We're still in the A's. Can you believe it? Here's Avery Dennis and AVY, uh, another great example of a really stinky options on this. Um, and let's put a, another horizontal on there just to make plain the range we're dealing with, like so. AXP American Express light years above principal support and uh, nice gap down today so much so let's just drag this fellow down as a new anchor point right there as a meaningful um, stop loss zone for AXP big big lots BIG I've made mention of this very pretty head and shoulders pattern in formation and the neckline is at 40.06 so that would be um, in fact um, let's set an alert on that, I think. Um, great chart alert. So if latest price crosses below, um, big failure. Okay, so now I've um, saved that. Anyway, uh, so that's big lots. Next one. Uh, BJ's, BJRI, the BJ's restaurant, and um, we broke the long-term uptrend a long time ago, and this has been a big sweeping pattern ever since, and it actually managed to be down over 2.5% on Friday in spite of all the buying, and uh, the big breakdown would take place if we cross below this 28.85 level. Cracker Barrel, CBRL, uh, this one's way up high in its long-term range. Um, and it managed to fall a little on Friday too. And in this instance, the key support is this green line, which is the lowest level it's been at for well more than a year, 115.92. Cheater, Charter Communications. This fell again over $11. Uh, this was a short idea a while ago as I did a post on it Friday morning. Uh, this is one of the two C shorts, this and Carvana. Um, but this is getting very close to its next support, 599.34, getting very close to a breakdown of that level. Continental Resources, CLR. Um, this one is, uh, you know, this is such a sharp ascent. I don't think a trend line would, would look very pretty, but let's just try. Eh, well, I've seen worse, so we'll just leave it. Um, but yeah, there we have it. It's been quite strong of late, and but long, long term, it, it, it looks quite prone. You can see these terrific reversals that have taken place in the past. So this might even be an analog to this to this uptrend here. Come in CMI, long wedge here back to the 80s, literally like Ronald Reagan's first term, and here is the uh, triangle on this one. So getting dangerously close to a to a breakout on that. Capital One Financial, COF, just got puts on this on Friday. And in this case, we want to stay put unless we cross above this price gap at 163.93. And the last of this group of 10, Calum Petroleum, CPE. And uh, here's our line limit on this one, 65.45. And this hopefully will be the third major reversal for this particular stock.